So today I'm here at the Silver Ball Museum. It's a pinball and arcade hall in Asbury Park, New Jersey, on the boardwalk. And um, I guess they've got about uh, 200 or so pinball machines and uh, arcade games. And they've got a really nice collection. It's in really good shape. All the games uh, are in uh, operating order and they're, and they're really well taken care of. They have a guy uh, that was actually doing maintenance on a few machines while I was here today. So I'll just take a quick walk through. Uh, it's quite crowded. Uh, quick walk through and, and show some of the games they have on, on free play here. It's about um, 15 bucks for half a day and $25 for a full day. And um, all the games are on free play. So uh, we got a Wayne's Fun House. Obviously we have that at home. In good shape. We got a road show. Darlene really likes this game. I might have to keep my eye out for one. Uh, Williams Junkyard. Looks like um, got a ball stuck here in Wakefield. Uh, Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone's in uh, fairly good shape compared to mine. Uh, Williams uh, Whitewater. Really sought after game, hard to find, and decent condition, and uh, they go for pretty big money. Lots of ramps. Fun game now. Factor 2. This game I'd love, and I would love to find one. Cactus Canyon. Um, theirs is in really great shape. A little bit of wear on the back there, but um, hard to find. I don't think they made too many of them. Only about 900 machines were made before uh, Pinball kind of collapsed at Williams. And I hear that this might be reintroduced uh, as, a, uh, as a remake from Chicago Gaming Company, Cactus Canyon. If so, I'll, I don't know. I, I really like the theme. You play, you fight the bad guys back here and his, his hat flies off and uh, there's a train that runs along the play field here. Really slick. Six shooters there on the play field. Anyway, they got a Williams scared stiff. Valley scared stiff, right? Star Trek next gen. World Cup soccer. Indiana Jones. Back to Mars. Theater of Magic. Games. Cyclone, one of the three carnival based games with uh, uh, Hurricane and Comet, the other two. And uh, Whirlwind by Pat Lawler, same guy who did uh, Twilight Zone, Adam's Family. And this is actually Pat Lawler's first game, Bonsai Run. Uh, the last time I played this was at the Dutch Pinball Museum in Rotterdam. And uh, their, uh, their example here is in pretty good shape. Playfield looks great. It actually has an upper playfield behind the back glass here. So you can actually get the ball up into the upper targets there. It's, it's a super cool game. And it was Pat Lawless's first game. He built this prototype in his garage, or the prototype for this game in his garage, and presented it to Williams, and I guess that's what got him involved in pinball. Um, we got a bunch of uh, electromechanicals here. First encounters, Tiger, Top Score. Super cool DM here, Friendship 7. Friendship 7 was the first Mercury uh, mission. It launched uh, the first American in space. They got their Jersey Jack Row here. Look at this. They got a Willy Wonka. Uh, only been out for a couple of months here. This is the limited edition version with the, uh, got the Wonka vision and the camera back there. Super cool game. Played it a few times. We got a Pirates of the Caribbean here by Jersey Jack, which uh, those are hard to find because they didn't make that many of them before they, uh, before they shut down the production line and moved on to other games. Like I guess they had a lot of problems with the Pirates. Uh, this is the LE and it's got the uh, pirate ship there moving on the back lap or in the uh, back of the play field. First time I had seen that game, it got the play. 
dialed in. Super cool game. Uh, definitely like to find one someday. Within the price range. And we got a Hobbit. And a nice Wizard of Oz. Interesting here on the wall, they got pictures of some celebrities that have been here. Yeah, you like this one? That, uh, that centipede she was playing is down here on the end. So they got an old missile command, Roger, Galaga, Galaxian, Mr. Max. Of course, Pac-Man. You got a Donkey Kong Jr. and a Donkey Kong. Super Mario Brothers. And then uh, here's that centipede that Ivanka Trump is playing. And uh, I guess I got the Silver Ball Mania. You first walk in here, this place is called the Silver Ball Museum. And uh, nice place here. You can. Uh, you can bring your own food, or they sell food here. You can bring alcohol in here too, which is kind of surprising. You've got a whole big line of electromechanicals here. Um, a bunch of them that I've never seen. These are called wedge heads. These godly wedge heads. And uh, a whole line of them here. Really great. Pretty cool. A couple, a couple gun games on here, uh, twin rifles under under restoration now, but they do have uh, five or six of them that are playable. Um, I guess these are some more Gottliebs here. I see these for sale, and I've thought about adding one to the collection at home, but I'm looking for the right team. Gottlieb's Dancing Lady, it's got a little girl in the back of her ballerina. Royal Flush, Joker Poker. We get back into some more solid states here. Gunless Man, The Shadow. Medieval Madness, which is a super popular game. Try to knock him in the past on the back of the like this way feel. Terminator 2, Steve Ritchie design. Uh, same guy that designed High Speed. Uh, a lot of people like this game, T2, like to find one someday maybe. This is a beautiful, beautiful machine here, Circus Voltaire, High Valley. 2700 from the manufactured and uh, they go for big money. There's talk that maybe they're going to reproduce this machine also. And, uh, let's see. I like it, but I don't like it as much as uh, other people out there and they go for pretty big money. So. This might be an Ian maybe that I that I try to pick up. Space Mission by Williams. Um, I played this earlier, I think you like it. And we got a Bally's Fireball. Classic Bally, uh, Bally Williams. And then uh, Matahari. This is, uh, this is a game that um, seems like there's a lot of these out there. Um, I've played it a few times, and there's some, some issue with the uh, backlash on this game. controversy in Germany over this backlash, so they actually have two versions of the backlash. One that does not have the writing on that night. I guess that harkens back to the Nazis or something. We got some shuffle bowling, a couple of multi here, and a super breakout. Back around. A lot of games in here. Safe Cracker. Very, very awesome game. A uh, little tiny cabinet. Only about a thousand made. Good for big money. Uh, Revenge from Mars. Pinball 2000. We made that in uh, Star Wars Episode 1. And Revenge from Mars is definitely better than 2. Mechanical games here. Time Pilot. I've got one of these at home. Mappy. And here's that... Uh, EM line that I was down in the water in there. 
pole position, Astros, defender. Just a Tron, cool game. Super cool captain too. But, uh, Williams System 11 Fire. That's an okay game. Bulldog. Black Knight and Flash. They're all early, both early Williams here. And they got a battle zone. Balls over here. Kids are doing their ski balls. We got an Atari's Millipede. Strikes his pairs. Darlene likes this game. I'm going to find one someday. Joker Z. It's also, this is a Williams System 11 along the same lines of uh, Pinbot, which I have at home. I don't know, maybe I'd pick one of these up if the price is right. Not too bad of a game. I think they go for a thousand bucks, twelve hundred, something like that. William Dust Luck Fest. Hard to get a video of that right now. People playing it, but uh, what else we got here? This is a super cool game. One of my favorite in the whole place right here. Valley Spab has got one of the best back classes in pinball. Such a beautiful, beautiful back class. And, uh, these things go for big money. This is a this is a fifteen thousand dollar pinball machine right here. And uh, people might not realize it, but that's highly, highly sought after. The, uh, Playboy here. This Xenon. Beautiful back class on Xenon. Uh, the gameplay is kind of meh, but the, uh, the machine is beautiful and uh, a lot of people really love it. And then uh, Belly Centaur, also a fantastic uh, design. Got a fantastic uh, back class and theme. Beautiful, beautiful machine. And they, uh, they go for quite a bit too. Centaur and there's a Centaur 2. I think this is the better of the two. Centaur. A couple more gun games here. Chicago Coins. And I had uh, I had one of these that I had actually uh, put a bid on. I was trying to win it in an auction a few weeks ago, and unfortunately I didn't win. But Chicago Coins made a lot of these uh, these old shooting games, and it's got a depth, uh, a perception of depth in the game when you're shooting. But actually, there's a mirror, and the play field is actually down here. You see how narrow the game is, but they're actually really cool. And, um, you know, like the mechanical wing sniper. There's five or six of them here, and they're all in really good shape. And uh, a couple of EMs here, got the close encounters of the third time. Green. And I have the tiger. Top score and got like Canada dry. Then they got some wood rails over here. Walked by this one earlier, Friendship 7. Really neat. Wood rails. Way before my time, but. This is a Williams A burner. I might have to play this. Can we play this? It's got these forces in the, in the back lab that I'm going to race these forces. i got to try this out. Plunger for ball. Hard to play here with plungers. The flippers are kind of weird. They're in the middle of the, the, middle of the play field. Those horses up there are moving. It's pretty, pretty neat. Every time it hits one of the pop bumpers, every time it hits one of these pop bumpers, that horse up there advances. All horses.